Good morning, my sweet friends. Today is Wednesday, April the 1st, 2020. And for today's lesson, we are going to be doing an experiment. And this process that we're going to be doing is called capillary action. It's gonna be lots of fun, um, but it does take some time. So be, be really patient with this experiment. But before we begin, um, I have some super exciting, super duper exciting news. I was watching the morning news this morning and the weatherman came on and he let me know that, well, let us know. That, he just said that Mrs. Martinez's wish of seeing snow could happen this afternoon. So I am so excited. So there is a high, high chance of snow this afternoon. So wait on it patiently. I will be waiting for it patiently. Snow, people. Snow is coming this afternoon. <gasps> Yay. April Fools. Just kidding. It today is also <laughs> April Fools, so do not be fooled today. Now, before we begin our experiment, let's pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my sight, to light, to guard, to rule, and guide. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I fooled you. Uh, let's begin our experiment. All right. For this experiment, you're going to need water. You're going to need a, a six pieces of paper towels um, and food coloring. I'm using green, red, orange, and blue, but whatever colors you have is fine. If you do not have um, coloring, food coloring, then you can use uh, paint, or even if you want to, you can use a marker. Um, so if you have markers, that will also work. And then you're going to need uh, seven cups, seven clear cups like these. They don't have to be clear, but if you don't have clear, then you can use regular uh, solo cups that you might have. All right, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to add water to your cup, to your cups. One, about halfway, two, three, and four. And I have some more water over here. Um, you can just use regular tap water. I just put these in these um, recycled water bottles. All right, so they're about halfway full, all of them. And then you're going to insert your food coloring on each one, about two drops. Another two. And blue. All right, once you have done that, you're going to mix your colors. Put in between my clear cups that are not going to have anything. They're going to be empty. One two, and three. Oop, it keeps falling, yay. All right, perfect. So in total you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cups. Three empty, one, two, and three. And then the rest you have green, you have red, you have yellow, and you have blue. I'm gonna move my food coloring out of the way and then what you will need is your paper towels so your paper towels you're gonna fold this way hot dog style but instead of just two you're gonna do it into three like so all right so you're gonna fold three layers one two Oops. it's not being straight that's okay two and three Three times, push them down, and then you're gonna fold it halfway. So strong wise, and halfway, and crease it like that. So you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven total. So you should have seven cups and seven napkins. Once you have your paper towels ready, you're going to insert them. Empty cup to the yellow, and then we're gonna do yellow to the empty cup. 
paper towels, <laughs> but it was needed. Now, watch, you have to wait uh, some time to see what happens. So right now we have three cups that are empty with no color, and we have four cups that have color. Take a look at the yellow. The water seems to already be traveling. So it's gonna take a while. So I'm not gonna wait here and hold you for this time, this long, but I want you to observe it and I want you to see what happens. It's gonna take a couple of minutes. See the green's already traveling up. This is something called capillary action. It's a big word for you, but what the process is called capillary action and what happens is that the water is going to travel uh, through the paper towels along each other um, all the way to the end and so in the end we should see all the cups all the paper towels filled with color so what i want you to do is I want you to take a picture or take a video of your final, final product, which would be when all of the paper towels are, the water and the color has traveled completely, okay? And watch and observe it. You can sit there for a while, but you're gonna get tired of waiting. So if you want to go um, outside for a little bit and then come back and just leave, the experiment to work, it takes a while. This blue one is traveling pretty fast. Yellow one is traveling, red is traveling, and also the green is traveling. So we just kind of have to wait. It's a waiting game for now. Um, enjoy these, this experiment, and if you wanna try it with different colors, you can try it with different colors. Uh, remember to, remember that even if you don't have these materials, just live it through me. I will post the final result at the end. All right, here is our awesome experiment, also known as the process of capillary action. All right, my sweet friends, I hope that you enjoyed this experiment. Remember, it does take some time, so be patient, be patient and have lots of fun with it you can try it over and over and over again if you would like send me a picture or draw me a picture of what you saw if you are unable to do it at home draw a picture of what you saw on this video um, and also submit it to google classroom or seesaw and um, that is it for today um, i will see you at 11 o'clock uh, for our zoom meeting um, and I think today someone is reading, but I can't remember who it is. So I'm going to go and find out who it is. But either way, if we don't have a guest um, or a special reader today, um, I will be reading a book for you. Uh, have a great day. And remember that you are amazing, smart, and strong. See you later.